Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick comparison of the Testo Smart Probes the Sporland Smart Service Tool and the iConnect pressure probes. I've got everything teed together like this. So everything is reading the same pressures. And then I've got all of my straps basically in the same place. Obviously I can't use the exact location for each sensor. And then I've got all my straps for that side there. Now, what I find interesting is that here we have suction of 112 head at 367, suction line temperature at 49.3, liquid line temperature at 101.5, superheat 12.9, subcooling at 8.9 if we come over to the testo kit we have similar pressures and somewhat different temperatures you'll see the 370 and 373.6 and the 101.5 and the 96.6 but what I find very interesting is actually the Sporlet. It says I have a subcooling of 41.6, suction pressure 112, suction temperature 49.8, head pressure 374, and liquid line temperature of 92.5. So nothing agrees. Got 50 and 1015, 47.7, and 50.92.7. We're all running 410A. But nothing agrees. Other than pressures and temperatures being fairly close, nothing actually agrees with anything else. Subcooling 9.5, superheat 13.6, subcooling 15, superheat 11, no superheat, and subcooling of 41.3. I'm going to pull the Sporlin off and see what it is for zero, though it was zero before I started. I've got the Sporland sensors open to atmosphere, and then rather than taking them off, I put the Sporland clamps on the same section of piping, and I think my temperatures are balancing out, and my pressures are a little off. I've got 0.3 for suction and negative one and then the temperatures are pretty close 50.4 and 52.5 so that would definitely cause a little bit of deviation and we may need to zero or at least balance out those sensors with a little bit of a calibration adjustment But over here, we're still not comparing. Subcooling 6.5, superheat 12.3. Subcooling 12, superheat 9.8. I'm gonna zero the pressure probes on this and do a little bit of an offset on the temperatures. 
to see if I can get those to basically agree when they're sitting on that pipe. All right. So I've got those two sensors agreeing and I zeroed the pressure probes and we'll stick them back on and see what we get. All right. The system is running with its variable capacity features. So that's why we're seeing changes in subcooling and superheat as the system ramps. I don't have a specific demand on it or test mode, but I manifold 122.1 359, 2.9, 2.5, 44, 108. Testo 122.9, 363. Subcooling of 7.7, superheat of 17. Line temps 43.4 and 101.3. And the Sporlin is still coming in way off. If you guys have got any ideas as to why that may be, I can't imagine how it can take similar information and be so far off for the same refrigerant. So to sum it up, I can't come up with an excuse as to why the Sporlin is so far off when I've got it as close as possible to reading the same temperatures and the same pressures. There's no way that I can think of as to why the test method I'm using would be so different for the Sporlin versus the other two. The subcooling and superheat of the iConnect versus the Testo are definitely far different and I know that the iConnect actually does a lot of compensation based on sea level and all of that sort of thing but everything's been balanced out through the settings in each app and the Sporlin is coming way off. I've disconnected everything Everything is to atmosphere temperatures and pressures. No sensors connected anywhere. And we've got zero PSI. All of the liquid lines sensors seem to be holding on to their temperature for a little while. We've got 50.9, 64.6. 73.6 51.1 The pressures on the Sporlin are zero Pressures on the iConnect are zero And the Testo is hanging on to a 0 .9 and a point or a 1.3 Alrighty guys, so let's sound off in the comments as to why you think everything disagrees is there something wrong with the test I've done, the way I set it up? Everything was zeroed to start with, even though the Sporlin picked up some pressure along the way. I've got no way to, you know, change it otherwise, other than zeroing it every time. The system obviously was ramping up and down, changing performance, but it wasn't changing so fast that changed between a split second as I moved across the three phone iPad and phone so I don't know tell me what you think down in the comments below and don't forget that you can use coupon code RARVID for ten dollars off your purchase of ten dollars or more at truetechtools.com thanks for watching like subscribe comment and share and we'll see you on the next video peace mm -hmm.
blind man I see you walking Through this cold, cold night Blind man, your heart is heavy 